What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now in today's video guys, this is pertaining to the brand new units that are coming out on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. Now these units I believe are going to be for the upcoming Sugar Fest. Now I'm not too sure if this is the third anniversary Sugar Fest or if this is an, uh, a separate Sugar Fest before the actual anniversary Sugar Fest. But all in all, this brand new batch of units are absolutely freaking crazy. All of them are super duper powerful. But in today's video, I just want to go ahead and overview the brand new six star unit that was revealed. Now in the link in the description or just in the description, I will leave uh, descriptions on all of the brand new units in this batch so you guys can find out what they all do. But in this video, I'm going to be just highlighting the six star unit being six star Inuarashi, or I'm just going to call him Dog Storm in the video as it's easier to say. But uh, this guy is absolutely insane. So let's get straight into the video. So let's go ahead and overview this unit. Here we have six star Inuarashi, otherwise known as Dog Storm. Now this guy here, we don't know his stats. We only just got the information from the data miners in the game from the latest update. So we don't know his stats at max level. However, we do know his type and classes and we do know his abilities. So he is a strength cerebral slasher. So that is awesome. We have a brand new strength legend. And this is exactly what six star Zoro teams needed. They kind of lacked a really good strength slasher character. Usually they'd probably just use Kinemon. Uh, but this guy will definitely take his place because his special is just absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. So let's go ahead and break down this guy's abilities. So his captain ability will boost the attack of cerebral characters by 2.5 times And then if you're below 30% HP at the start of the turn You will get a 2.75 times attack boost to your cerebral characters But not only that he will also boost the chain multiplier by 1.5 times now, initially when I saw this, I tried to compare him with 6-star Crocodile, and uh, by comparing the two, I initially thought that Crocodile was just overall just better, you know, 3.25 times attack at 1 HP is pretty phenomenal, I didn't really think that this guy could compare, but if you do take into account the chain boost that he gives to Cerebral characters, I don't know if it's to Cerebral characters or just to all people in general, I imagine it's just for all characters, that 1.5 times chain boost, then uh, with a double Inu Arashi, you are out damaging double 6 star crocodile teams, which is pretty crazy. The power creep for this batch is actually kind of crazy because all of the units in this batch are really, really strong, and a few of them help out Cerebral teams significantly. So, this is kind of crazy that we are getting all this Cerebral support, but you know what? It is kind of needed. It's been a while since Cerebral have gotten a decent amount of support, so uh, seeing this batch here is actually really promising for the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise to see that all of the classes and probably all of the colors later on will get a significant boost in, in different units that they'll be able to use. So if you do the calculations on his chain boost, it is a 1.5 times chain boost. If you are using double dog storm, that is a 2.25 times boost to the chain multiplier. Ultimately, meaning that your last hitting unit, as long as you are hitting all perfects, will get a 4.375 times chain boost, which is actually really, really solid, along with a 2.75 times attack, and you know, you just times that together. It's a really, really high amount of attack, crazy amount of damage, as long, uh, as, long as you know, you don't, you don't get a chain debuff you know uh, that's the that's the big thing that really lets down Rayleigh uh, the six star Rayleigh is the fact that uh, you know if he gets his chain limited or his chain blocked then uh, he's basically a useless captain so uh, with this guy you know with his chain locked or limited he doesn't get as much damage output, but you are still dealing a lot of damage having 2.75 times attack under 30% HP. And being under 30% HP, that's not that hard to do with a Cerebral team. There are tons of units that can go ahead and do that, and his special will actually help with that as well. So now that we've talked about his captain ability, let's go ahead and overview his special ability. So as of me making the video right now, we don't know the exact cooldown of this guy, so we don't really know that, and knowing that is actually pretty big, because that's going to really determine whether or not this guy is going to be used a lot, uh, especially if, if his max cooldown is anything, you know, more than 18, I think he's not going to be used that much, honestly. But anyways, let's just overview it real quick. So, his special ability will drastically reduce your HP. We don't know what that actual reduction is, whether it's 90%, 80%, 75%. Whereas 99%, we don't really know what the reduction of your HP is, but we know that it does that. And because it does that, it does help out his captain ability get to under 30%. So that's really, really nice. 
Then it states, give ample color. Uh, that's just the rough translation we have at the moment. Uh, if we, you know, could kind of guess, we could kind of guess it's going to be color affinity. And if it is going to be a color affinity boost, then I would hope it to be a 1.75 boost. If not, make it a 2 times booster. If it's a 2 times affinity booster, then this guy is absolutely busted. If it's 1.75, he's an absolutely solid unit. So... Uh, give ample color. That's just the rough translation as I said, so uh, that might change uh, from what I just said I'm not too sure if it's color affinity uh, But at this time a lot of people are saying that it's just gonna be color affinity boost But then on top of that 80 times his attack will be added to the damage of each unit in your crew Basically the exact same as Raid Boss Sabo if you guys are familiar with his special He adds 55 times his attack at the end of every unit's attack as long as it's uh, greater than good so, this guy does the same thing, but it's 80 times his attack. And if you actually calculate that, I just did a rough estimate of his uh, attack power, I guessed. Just, just a rough guesstimate that his attack power would be 1450. And if you apply 80 times his attack, and then you have 6 units attacking, that's around 700,000 damage added to uh, your crew's damage output for one turn, which is really, really good. Now, we're only just assuming here, but we're only we're, we're assuming that it's going to be a one turn boost of color affinity and attack boost uh, added at the end of every turn. So we're kind of assuming it's a one turn. Uh, if it is more than one turn, then that is just busted. But at this time, it's just basic translation. I just wanted to bring you guys this video because I thought this guy is an absolute monster and he definitely will dethrone Crocodile in my opinion because... He only has to be under 30% to get his major attack boost with Crocodile. You have to be specifically at 1 HP. So, I think, honestly, that this guy is going to dethrone Crocodile. Crocodile is still a phenomenal Cerebral Captain. Uh, but, you know, if you have this guy, there's not too many other reasons to use Crocodile as a Captain. Obviously, if there are Chain Limiters or Debuffs, then you really don't want to bring this guy. But if there isn't, then there's no reason to bring Crocodile if you have this guy as uh, in your character box. This guy is just a better Cerebral Captain overall and will provide more damage output for your Cerebral teams. So that is going to conclude today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below, and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.